Hi, welcome back to the channel of Loving Life New Yorker. I'm Andrew. Today, I thought I'd do something a little bit nearer to home. I have so many questions about Acudia, what's going on, the side streets, the whole lot of it. So I thought, it's such a hot day today, I thought I'd just bring you a little bit nearer to home. And this is Acudia, where we're going to be taking a little walk around today. I'm standing outside Siesta 1, to the end of the strip. There's no plans as per normal, but let's just see how we get on. So I always start the film around here, don't I? I normally end up walking down by the by the horse ranch which is down there for a little bit of horse riding but this time I'm going to take a walk down the strip and then I'm going to take a, a left just where the main entrance or opposite the main entrance I should say to where Bellevue is and then keep on walking down there and go all around the back streets as much as I can go round as you know down the strip down here you'll find lots of restaurants, cafes and different bits and pieces. The uh, Bellevue is on my right hand side, which is a huge complex and it's really busy in there at the moment. And here we've got a couple of bars and on the corner here we've got the famous Legends. And obviously we've got La Hara. So I'm gonna be taking a left here takes us behind Burger King and all of those. I'll be taking a right in a minute and basically just see how we get on. We've got all the local houses round here. It's quite a nice thing. I hardly ever come round here actually. So it's quite nice just to have a look, look round a, a different area. Lots of different roads you can look round. I was saying this is behind Burger King and all, all down there. There's a car rental place on my right hand side. And to Foley. That's on me right as well. I could either take a left now to go to the Jolly Roger, or I can keep on going over the road there, which goes behind Colba. As you can see, there's no plans whatsoever today. So I've just gone straight over. It's just Colba on my right hand side now. Stop outside never. Have another break. Got some of these lovely villas down here, aren't they? Some beautiful places around. So it's just coming up here, I've got a shine bar on my right hand side. Still lots and lots of different roads to have a look around, it's found here. I'm gonna continue walking over and I'll be coming out round the corner from the all-star bar and next to canal. But I'm not gonna walk all the way down there, I'm gonna take a left here, which takes me in between more of these lovely little houses here. But we'll be coming out by the lake, as you can imagine, everywhere leads into a lake, don't they? But I do love looking at these, these houses. A load of them are um, holiday rentals. So that's canal just down there. Across the road from here, or the cross canal, I should say, you've got woodies and all of those along there. Oh, 
you can keep on walking back round then end up on the Lagamonte Lake as I always call it. I'm going to cross over the little bridge now. So saying lots of places to bring wheelchairs if you've got a mobility issue. So you can go down the slope behind me, or down the steps, so I'm saying. Even though I used to drive coaches and buses in sunny England, I don't know so much about over here to be honest with you. Some of the, the, tight, um, the turns are pretty, pretty tight round here. So there's a fever sunrise just there. As I said, covered with canals everywhere around here. Just across the road there, that hotel com um, complex, there's the Sea Club. And across the road here, we've got spa shops, a few restaurants. The actual strip itself, it's only five or six minute walk. The beach is only five or ten minutes maximum from here across the road across the main road and keep on walking and gives another bridge across us over the road to the same side as the sea club again steps or a slope as the sea club just over there got the canal right over here as well everywhere everywhere's got the canals if you know what I mean if I took a right hand turn it down there you get to the strip there's a children's play park just there so just round here is loads and loads of hotels just round around this sort of little facility the beach is only a couple of minutes walk over the road. Loads of houses just round here as well. Really nice to have a look around the houses. Car park spaces if you're lucky. So you hear now we're in summer. It's always a job to find somewhere. There's a few spaces now, but it's sort of dinner time. Everybody's gone away for the exploring day haven't they as they say I'm gonna go over the road now and have a look down that little road down there so I've crossed the road now Best way of getting around here is by hiring a scooter, either a moped type, like a petrol one or an electric one. There's so many people over here renting them out at the moment. I'm going to be taking a lift down here. There's so many of these roads, as I've saying, everywhere around Acudia. But you really can't get lost just by having a little look around. So as long as you can see the canal and you know where the beach is, 
And if you look on your left hand side, you'll have the mountains with the aerials on top. If you give yourself some kind of bearing where you are, you will never get lost. At the end of another road. Take a lift now. And the, the actual Legamonte Hotel, that's only just up the road here. Just on the left hand side, we'll stay in there. Across another bridge. So I can take a left or a right just here, as you can see. So if I take a right hand side, I was wondering then would you turn left or right? Suddenly decision. No plans today at all. We've been on the buses over here, it's a marvellous bus service. It gets busy on market days, which is Sundays and Tuesdays, but the, the buses as a rule are really, really good. So say the again, the canal meets us as we go around the corner. And then into this road, you've got another lake, stroke roundabout. It's another lovely day as you can see here. It's not quite so hot as it has been. We had real bad downpour during the night and it's really has lifted the, um, the air today. So even though the temperature's up there, it really doesn't feel as humid as it has been. So again, more roads I can go down. I'm gonna go down this road here. And I'll be taking a, even though cars have to go left, I'll be taking a right down the end of this road. So over there, that is the Club Mac 3 Hotel complex just over there. And the Mariners is just down that road as well. I just love looking at the houses when I walk down. So I'm saying any of these roads at all will take you down to the strip. Go straight forward, get you to the beach. If you turn left at the end, get, take you down to the port as well. And this road down the end of here is the, the Club Mac road, as I call it. If I take a left at the end, I get down to Club Mac. If I turned right, it'd take me to the Magic Roundabout. Again, one of the lovely clubs, nightclubs we used to have, Mento. Lead somebody to buy that with a, a chunk of money, get that open again, doesn't it? It's, I know we've got a couple of nightclubs here, but it's always nice to have a, a larger selection, a larger choice, isn't it? And over there, you could just see, that's a little uh, water park we've got over here, which is opposite Club Mac, a hotel. I'm gonna be taking a right-hand direction now towards the Magic Roundabout. We 
We are staying at the Club Bug Hotel. There is a free bus service that takes you down to the beach during the day and at night this one that takes you down to the port. I just love the trees. There's plenty of seating area as well. And you've got a few bars here, restaurants that stay open all year round. And they've got Enjoy, which is like a, a bar that stays open late. You've got Banana Club over it, which is the nightclub. You've got a kebab shop next to it, and also um, Burger King. And across the road, you've got Lidl's. You've got the Magic Roundabout with a load of um, cafe bars sitting, sitting just off the roundabout, as it were. Got like a little betting shop just there as well. So I was saying it's called the Magic Roundabout. Nothing to do with the TV programme, mind. But once upon a time, the actual nightclub above here was before it's bananas, was actually called the Magic, and that's where it got its name from. And you try to follow the road as we go back round, back towards the strip area or you can cut down any side streets to take us down to the beach. Got a little fairground in it at the moment as well, which is quite nice. I'm gonna be taking the road over. There's loads of roads here that go towards the, the beach itself. It's a beautiful sandy beach. Goes for 13 and a half kilometers long. Thank you, matey. Which takes you down to Camp Pickafort. And you can walk the whole way down there. It's a lovely walk. And if you carried on going down this road here on my left hand side, down that road, that would take right hand fork, take you down to the port. If you go over that side there, past Lidl, go to the next roundabout and take a left hand side, that would take you to the old town where the market is. So I was saying there's loads of roads you can get down to the, um, the beach itself from here. A good handful of beach bars down there if you fancy a drink. Okay, lovely houses to look in which you're walking down. You can have it's good to dream sometimes, isn't it? If I had the opportunity, I don't really know if I'd like one because it's an awful lot of maintenance, isn't it? but the dream's always worth dreaming, isn't it? Somebody once said to me, the, um, the journey is better than the destination. Whereas I've got a little bit older, I do believe that. It's more, it's more fun about the dream they're getting there than when you've actually arrived on a lot of things. The old sea looks really lovely today with the sun gleaming on it. If I turn left on this path, I would get down to the port. I think, I think I'd go for a little paddle actually. Quite a wind down here today. Started puffing up the sand as well now as you can see here. It does remind me of the summer months. It 
Sand doesn't feel so hot today, which is quite nice. God, look at all the people in the sea. There's loads of them. As you can see here, you can rent a, a boat or something as well. Well, it's got to be a job to find somebody to, to have a paddle today, and there's so many people. Something about this beach in it, it really is lovely. So this was filmed on the, the 26th of July. So it's virtually August in a week's time. If you want to book a, a boat excursion, there's plenty around. See, the sea is so refreshingly warm. It's actually warm in the swimming pool, to be honest with you. That's a little bit more fun for just laying on the beach or swimming. It is nice to see so many people in the sea though, isn't it? I've got jet skis over there as well having an excursion. A little bit of everything going on today, it really is. It's definitely summer, isn't it? And the summer has arrived properly. Long may it last. start walking back now back down the strip to the strip entrance over there 
That's why it's so busy just around here. There's loads of people just around here, isn't there? And the beach bar just in front of us as well. Loads of people, children playing on the beach, which is nice, kicking balls and things. Batting balls just over there. And that summer smell, as I call it, like this sun cream, all different types all different smells of sun cream. Beach bar's really busy as well. And back to the blue path again. It takes you down to the, the port that way, so I was saying. If I carry you walking up, it takes us over the, the red wooden bridge, as I call it, down to Play de Miro and eventually to Camp Picafort. I'm going to be walking down the Bellevue Strip anyway uh, and then I'll finish the film off when we get down the bottom. Tourist information just there. Loads of hotels and apartments just round here, cafes, bars, and that sort of thing, an ice cream kiosk just there as well. And over there there's a taxi rank. Keep on walking down the right hand side past get to the um the port and where i was originally down by burger king and all of that before going on the beach that's a link road there loads of restaurants shops and so on and so forth going down that way this is the top of the bellevue strip take the left hand road that'll take you down to play to muro camp pickford and beyond the bus stops just there it'll take you down to palma as well as local routes. Let's cross the road. So down here you'll find lots of restaurants, um, tourist shops, shops, hotels, all different places down here. This is the the um entertainment, things like that, bingo. You'll find it all down this way here. But don't forget to check the side roads. There's bars and shops and restaurants and things going down the side roads as I showed you earlier. And the um, food prices down here, the restaurants are for everyone's pocket. You know, you've got some cheap, cheaper places, as I call it, not cheap anymore, are they? So you've got some cheaper places going up to um, fillet steak and so on and so forth, as well as the local dishes, paella, and that sort of thing. Get it all round, round about here. If you want some um, other bits and pieces, go down the port, lovely selection of restaurants down there fresh fish and so on and so forth in the old town of Bavudi as well you'll find loads down there this place really comes to life in the evenings if you fancy taking a few prezzies home with you chances are you'll find them around here You can even book for your excursions as well, places down here. Boat trips and things like that. I must admit, I'm quite excited for next year. The um, council government have put away several million to spend on this trip. It's going to be refapped. I've seen the plans, it looks really good if they go ahead with what they've said. Next year, it's going to be really brilliant for it. Fingers crossed it all happens. No reason why I shouldn't mind, but you just never know, do you? They're the saying there's shops both sides of the road down here. Restaurant, cafe, bars around every corner. 
you want a little bit of bingo, you'll find it around here. Some discos. And back to the canal again. Across the road again to All Saints, bar just there. Got Julio crepes and ice creams just there. Pick a mix. And a load of restaurants coming down here as well. There's no shops over the other side, it's all back to Bellevue, which is a huge hotel complex. So that's all over the other side now. So it's just shops on this side of the bridge, on this side of the road. We walked all behind these, didn't we, on the way down? Back to the shine again. So all we've really done is a, it's a big circle, isn't it? We want to get the bus somewhere, you've got the bus stop just here, which is a, a summer bus stop, closes in the winter. And back down to Colba. Well, I'm going to finish the film. Well, I hope you liked today's film. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget Facebook, Love You Love New Yorker. Catch you soon, guys. Bye for now.